I'm Jason Van Landingham. I'm going to be talking to you today about my program for teaching a horse to change leads. Now, whenever I think about the lead change, I think about a really broke horse that has complete body control. I don't start changing leads on my two-year-olds until the end of their two-year-old year whenever they understand body control. Uh, what I mean by understanding body control is if I take a hold of the horse, first of all, if I take a hold with my hands, they're soft in their face. If I need to adjust the shoulder, I have no resistance. If I need to push the hip around, I have no resistance. And when I get to that stage, then my horse is ready for changing leads. Whenever you have a horse that is resistant to your hands or resistant to leg pressure, and they're not an extremely good leaded horse, it's gonna be hard to teach them and you're gonna run into all sorts of problems that you wouldn't have if you were on a better broke horse. So if you're having problems with the lead change, chances are you have a body part that's not broke loose good enough yet. Uh, I'm just gonna walk away from you and kind of show you the setup for a lead change that I do on my, on my babies. I want to be able to, if I'm on the, the left lead and I'm loping a circle around there, I want to be able to transition my rib and my shoulder into that circle and then drive my hip to the new circle to the right side and continue to move forward, okay? And basically that's, that's all a lead change is, is changing your body position from whatever circle you're on to the opposite side. And so if I'm circling to the right, they should naturally have a little bit of look to the right, their shoulders standing up, their hips engaged to the inside. And if I wanna change leads, I'm gonna shift my shoulder and my rib cage into the new side, drive the hip uh, up into my new circle, and uh, that's basically the lead change. And I'll show you at uh, a lope how I do the same thing. Um, obviously the broker and broker they get, your setup becomes less and less. You don't have to shift the shoulder as far. Uh, you don't have to drive the hip as far, but you still want that horse uh, staying soft without any push and out, without any resistance. And if they have that resistance, you go back and you fix the resistance and, and start over. So if I'm circling to the left, I'm gonna set up, clear my shoulder, squeeze with my new leg, ask for the lead change, and if they hit the lead change, then I'm good to go. If at any point during the lead change I felt resistance somewhere that was going to keep that uh, lead change from being pretty, I'll go back and I'll work on that resistance. For example, if I started to set up for my lead change and I wanted to clear my shoulder and there was resistance in the face or resistance in the shoulder, then I'm gonna just go back and work on breaking that shoulder loose. Staying soft, using my feet just like I would for the setup and the lead change. And you can do all this stuff going slow at a trot without changing leads so you're not getting a horse worried about changing leads. So if you have your horse nice and soft, you can pick up the body parts, move them around anywhere you want to, then most generally the horses are gonna be easy to change leads on. Uh, the way that, that we're breeding our horses today for the, for the reining industry, these things have been bred to change leads for years and years, uh, generations. So it's, it's pretty simple to put a lead change on the horses today. Now, there are certain bloodlines that struggle with it more than others and you just kind of know that going into it. So if you need to be more patient with those kind of horses that maybe struggle with the lead change and, and spend more time on your body control, it's worth the extra effort rather than getting to, into a fight over a horse trying to make them change leads before they're ready for it. So that's uh, the basics of my lead change program. Sixty percent of lameness in performance horses is caused by degenerative joint problems. So maintaining healthy joints is a top priority for horse owners. SmartFlex is the official joint supplement brand of AQHA, and the line includes seven targeted formulas that are used across all disciplines and levels. The SmartFlex family makes it easy to choose the perfect formula for your horse's needs, and they're all guaranteed to work. Visit SmartPack.com/SmartFlex to find your horse's perfect joint supplement today.